Awareness Week is actually organised by Deafness Forum Australia. And Deaf, Deaf Sports Australia has a partnership, MOU partnership with um, Deafness Forum Australia. And uh, part of the Hearing Awareness Week is to um, increase um, awareness of um, hearing loss in Australia. And because Deaf Sports Australia works closely with Netball Australia and Deaf Netball Australia and the, the fact that we get deaf and hard of hearing people participating in Netball, and um, it's a really good opportunity for um, the mainstream communities, netball communities, and the deaf uh, netball communities to get together and um, have some fun activities and um, get together and um, feel about learning about each other. And today's um, match, friendly match, is a perfect example of um, um, staff at Netball Victoria and, and Netball Australia has to um, experience what it's like to be a hard of hearing a deaf person on, on, on a netball court. Um, it just gives them the experience to what it feels like, so that. They can better understand how to um, work with or even play with them. They're deaf, um, te- a hard of hearing teammates and colleagues, so on. If someone wants to play netball, who um, is hard of hearing or is deaf, how should they should they get in contact with you, or how do they start? Usually, um, we have parents or uh, even young um, netballers um, who are interested to play. They contact Deaf Sport Australia. What we do is find out where do they live, and like books, and they live um, somewhere in New South Wales. We get in touch with. Um, Netball Australia and ask for the, the contact person in Netball in mean, New South Wales and then we pass that on to the parents and that person concerned and they sort of like work with them and make sure they sign up to their local Netball club mm-hmm. and make sure that it's inclusive and I understand that Netball Australia has this really inclusive policy and which is spread across the country so we work with them on that.